2021 has been a year of challenges and experimentation for the education sector, with new hybrid models of teaching and learning. But Mark, as Executive Director of European Schoolnet, tell us how this year has impacted the education community. This year has particularly confirmed the importance of digital solutions and how they can support and transform our education systems. But at the same time, it has also underlined some critical issues that Europe still needs to address. Namely, the digital divide affecting less well-off families, infrastructure, lack of connectivity or insufficient bandwidth at home, and the shortage of devices for digital access in households across Europe. The crisis also emphasized the need to fight against disinformation and to make the Internet a safer and better place for all, particularly for children and young people. As highlighted by ministries of education at our annual conference, only by joining forces among European countries and across sectors, we can reinvent the technologies we use in education. This year has highlighted that society is calling for radical change asking us to reimagine teaching and learning. This has justified more than ever the value of our mission as leading the transformation of education across Europe is precisely what European Schoolnet stands for. Despite the pressure caused by the pandemic, like uh, for example, working remotely and also the reorganization of activities and tasks, we see in your annual report uh, that European Schoolnet has been delivering all the objectives for the year. So, what would you say are the main outcomes of the year? As the Executive Director of European Schoolnet, I'm proud of how our various teams continued to adapt to the unforeseen circumstances of the pandemic. Without their exceptional talent, passion and dedication to supporting our mission, we simply would not be where we are today. You can refer to the whole report for greater detail on all the activities we focused on during 2021. But as a general overview, I would like to highlight how we embraced change by virtualizing our meetings and events, by testing and finding creative solutions to help our education communities through this crisis and to move forward. How we fostered collaboration, working very closely with a growing number of partners to continue promoting quality inclusive and digitally advanced education and training systems and bringing our expertise to 52 European projects. And finally, how we delivered positive change. We have positively impacted approximately 2 million pupils across Europe through offering our academy courses to 78,000 educators. It's clear that the education sector is uh, facing unprecedented challenges and also that inclusive digital education is becoming more and more important in the political agenda. So, looking at the future, what will be the role of European Schoolnet? European Schoolnet will certainly play a crucial role in the months and years to come. We see this as an opportunity to build a stronger and more resilient Europe, putting the focus on education and therefore on the future generations. We will continue in facilitating synergies between teachers, schools, policy makers and industry at European and national level. In particular, new schooling models are emerging and we will support ministries of education with evidence-based knowledge and recommendations to help them in implementing these new models and integrating them into their national systems. By reading the report, you will see that there are crucial elements here, from the necessity to embed inclusion policies to the importance of better infrastructure, equipment and connectivity. Also, we must underline the centrality of digitally competent teachers, the necessity to further engage with the reform of our curriculum, as well as the need to explore ways of increasing the autonomy of our students and to enhance their motivation for learning.